In this video, we are going to compare two rebuilt V8 Rover engines. Externally, both look totally standard. Internally, one is, and the other one has had some minor upgrades to give it a bit more performance. We all know that putting a big holly carb on them will make them a lot faster and popping fancy exhaust manifolds will make them a lot faster. However, we had a request to build an engine that looked externally 100% standard. So on the second engine, we did a few minor internal tweaks and it's just interesting to see what difference it made. Engine one, standard rebuild, 155 brake horsepower, 209 pound foot torque. Engine two. So engine two, we switched out the standard 14 bolt heads for later 4.6, 10 bolt heads. And while we're at it, we just a tiny little bit of port work just to smooth over and round the short turns in the intake ports where they meet the valve throats. We did the slightest bit of work to the intake manifold. We radiused the sharp corners at the bottom and we made sure there were no bad mismatches where the manifold meets the belly. Engine two had poppet valves fitted to the carburetor butterflies. So we threw those away and fitted flat ones without the poppet. And lastly, we did a cam swap. Newman, phase one, mold cam, runs on standard springs, pretty much standard lift, a little bit more duration. So let's go back to the dyno and see what it made. Just to recap, the first engine, the totally standard rebuild on 35S manifolds and system, 155 horsepower, 210 pound foot torque. So now we need to overlay the second engine. Now in red, we've got the overlay of the mildly tweaked engine. Couple of points to note, it made exactly the same 209 pound foot torque, but the power rose to 172 horsepower. And when you look at the graph, it's quite clear to see the power rose because it simply shifted the torque up the rev range. Both engines were tested on exactly the same exhaust system under the same conditions, in the same cell, on the same grade of fuel. You could almost say, looking at that graph, I'd say one is actually better suited to auto, one's better suited to a manual, simply because you tend to rev out a manual engine more. And one of the most amazing things of this is, although we said that the torque shifted up, the curves are so similar, it's untrue. They are literally the same power curve, just shoved along a bit. Without doubt, the tuning mods have certainly livened up the second engine, although there's a huge amount of power potential left on the shelf. Had we been able to run the second engine with free flow air filters, that would have in itself given a sizable jump in power, but we weren't allowed to because the engine had to look standard. So essentially, here's what happens when you put a mild cam in your otherwise standard engine. And if you wonder what happened if we'd make this engine a bit bigger, we turn this engine later on into a 4.6. Check it out here. <laughs> 